My first day's work was being the world's first Quidditch player. We put a broomstick on the back of a truck and drove it down the runway at Leaveson Studios with Chris Columbus looking down a camera lens, whooping and hollering, saying, yes, I think this is how we're going to do Quidditch. The teenage David Holmes became Daniel Radcliffe's stand-in for the movies, doing stunts deemed too risky for the film's young star. But in 2009, while rehearsing for the seventh film, David was badly injured and permanently paralysed from the chest downwards. He's now the subject of a documentary about his life after the accident. How did it feel reflecting on the last 10, 15 years? I just want to be honest. You know, and honestly, yeah, living with a broken neck is hard. But I've said before, breaking my neck made a man of me. And um, looking back, I'm very grateful that I've managed to retain my sense of self. The documentary details how he's found such positivity, thanks to his strong personality and a close group of friends surrounding him, a group that includes Daniel Radcliffe. How close are you and Dan? He was like my little brother on the films and then grew to be one of my best friends, you know, and we still talk, like, on a regular, you know, whether it's me sending him houseplants for him moving into a new place or making playlists for him for when he's unpacking boxes, and he does the same for me. He's always been there for me, and I've always been there for him. Dave still is one of the most important people in my life, as he, as he has been for the last, like, 20 years. He was somebody that was so incredibly fun to hang out with when I was young, but then as I grew up, became like a real guide to me and, and a, a kind of a, a mentor and someone who really looked out for me. Um, and that really has, has sort of just continued as we've, you know, grown. As well as appearing in the documentary, Radcliffe was the person who instigated the project and is an executive producer on the production. Dave is, has always been an extraordinary person before and after the accident. I, I, I want people to get to know my friend because he's like, he's so much fun. He's so funny, he's so smart, he's so kind and so generous and, and just like an amazing person to be around. That's why I've wanted to like share Dave with the world for, for so long. How important is it that a project like this focuses on the person, not the disability? Um, well, in life, you're either a victim or a survivor, right? I choose to be a survivor. And if that has a knock-on effect for other people that are living with any hardships in life, then that's got to be a positive thing. Right now, the world's not the nicest of places to live in, and uh, spreading positive stories is only a good thing, right? The documentary also shows how David works to help others, Every year, a fundraising cricket match is held to raise money for charity and for hospitals. You must be really proud that you've helped raise tens of thousands of pounds. Wonderful thing, right? Like a silver lining on a very dark cloud. And uh, to give back's always been important to me. And to highlight the heroes that work in the NHS is something that we've been able to do on this project. And I'm really, really proud of that. He's also keen to pass on his skills to a new generation. I think unless you're investing in youth, you're not really um, investing in the whole human experience. You know, like, that it's the only thing that has real value in this world, is opening doors for other people. I was very fortunate enough to have a lot of doors open for me, and if I can do the same for other people, I think, you know, in giving back is the best of what we are as humans. The documentary, a programme that David hasn't yet watched, is also stark about the fact that his health is slowly deteriorating. There'll be a time in my life I'll probably get in a bed and won't get out of it. So I would like to watch the film then so I can look back and reflect on myself with all the hope and optimism that I feel like I've got in me now. Dave, thank you so, so much. Oh, mate, it's been a pleasure.